Working Desk L-shaped fitting instructions. Before we begin, here are some things to keep in mind. There is an attached list of components at the back page of the instructions. Always work on a soft flat surface to prevent damage or scratches to your new product. Do not over tighten cams, screws or bolts unnecessary. Some items may vary from the illustrations. You may need a second person to assist in the assembling. Tools that you will need is a star screw driver and a mallet. It is important to note that this product has a right or left orientation, not both. So please follow instructions carefully and do not jump ahead. Let's begin. First off, we're going to open the box. Inside, you'll find the fitting instructions. One big bag with the main parts and a small bag which is spare parts. And lastly, a total of seven panels. We will be using the box as the soft flat surface. Note the following. Cams have a small arrow on top and an opening at the bottom that should be facing the edge of the panel. Press into the hole to fit. See step 1. The dowels are only inserted into the hole and steel pins need to be screwed into the wood with a screwdriver. We will be starting at the top with the first panels you see. Insert 7 cams into the long back panel and set aside. Next, insert 6 cams into side back panel and also set aside. The next two panels are feet. There are two feet panels that is exactly the same size. We'll be doing those next. Set aside the other two panels. We'll be getting back to those later. See step 1 in the fitting instructions to compare if the current panels are indeed the feet. Both these panels will be taking two cams, two dowels and two steel pins each. Please do not over tighten the steel pins. Lift the panel and insert the two small plastic feet opposite side of the cams. Set aside when done. We will be repeating this for both the main feed panels. Again insert two cams, two dowels and two steel pins into the other foot panel. Lift the panel and insert the two plastic feet opposite side of the cams. Set aside. Should there be space for four dowels and four steel pins on either of the panels, do not insert anything. Set this panel aside for we'll be getting back to them later. The last panel in the box is the desk top panel. We will be inserting six dowels and screwing in six steel pins into this panel. Once done, just push it aside. Taking one of the feet we set aside earlier, Lay down flat on the box. Lower the long back panel onto the foot ensuring the middle cam is facing the same direction as the cams on the foot. Once lowered, lock the cam by turning them clockwise. See step 2 for clear reference. Moving on to step 3 in the fitting instructions. Tilt the assembled parts upside down as shown and you may need some help from a second person. Move the other main foot onto the other side of this assembly, lining up the steel pins with the cams and locking them by turning them clockwise. Turn the assembly back onto its feet. You may need a second person again. Pick up the desktop panel and turn it upside down. Lowering the panel onto the main assembly with the big hole facing the back of the assembly. See step 5. Once the desktop panel has been lowered onto the assembly, line up all the protruding pins into their respectable holes. Note that this can take a minute due to all the pins that needs to be lined up. Do not use excessive force. Take a look all around the table to ensure the product does not get damaged because of a missed pin. Here is an example of what is possible and can happen. We will be getting under the table to lock all the remaining cams by turning them clockwise. Feel free to double check all cams twice. Note that there are two cams at the back of the table. Move this assembly aside for now. You now need to decide on which side the extension will be. We will be starting next with the left side mounting. Skip ahead to 7 minutes 32 seconds should you want it in the right side mounting position. Within the fitting instructions after the main assembly you'll find a page with the heading left side mounting. 
Let's get back to the two panels we set aside at the very start. Starting with the panel that was at the top. That will be the side foot panel. Insert two cams at the top. The next is very important. Carefully look at step one on the left side mounting section. This is for the side foot. Only insert two dowels and screw in only two steel pins into the holes matching the illustration. Lift the panel and insert two plastic feet opposite side of the cams. Set this panel aside. The next panel is the side top panel. Again, pay close attention to step two in the left side mounting section. Insert the cams and only insert four dowels and four steel pins as illustrated. Set small top panel aside. Gather the side foot panel and lay it on the flat surface. Also gather the side back panel, the short panel we did at the very beginning with the six cams inserted. Lower the side panel onto the side foot and only lock the two cams closest to the side foot. Turn the small assembly over as shown. Lower the side top panel onto the small assembly and lock all the cams underneath. Then set it aside. Looking at the big table from the front, you will be working on the left side. Insert two dowels and screw in two steel pins into the desktop on the very left side of the table. Gather the small assembly. We will be joining these two assembly as shown in step five in the left side mounting section. Connect the two assemblies by locking the two cams at the bottom of the side top panel feel free to double check all cams. While under the complete assembly, using two screws, fix the side panel to the overlapping foot. Pilot holes are provided for the screws. Please do not over tighten. Get the two wire hole covers and simply slot them into the big holes at the back of the desktop. Looking at the very right side of the assembly, We'll be inserting four plastic caps to cover the holes that is provided for the right side assembly. Two of each size caps are provided. Right side mounting. Let's get back to the two panels we set aside at the very start. Starting with the panel that was at the top. That will be the side foot panel. Insert two cams at the top. The next part is very important. Carefully look at step one of the right side mounting section. This is for the side foot. Only insert two dowels and screw in two steel pins into the holes matching the illustration. Lift the panel and insert two small plastic feet opposite side of the cams. Set this panel aside. Next, we will do the side top panel. Again, pay close attention to step two in the right side mounting section. Insert the cams and only insert four dowels and four steel pins as illustrated. Set small top panel aside. Gather the side foot panel and lay it on the flat surface. Also gather the side back panel, the short panel we did at the very beginning with the six cams inserted. Lower the side panel onto the side foot and only lock the two cams closest to the side foot. Turn the small assembly over as shown. Lower the side top panel onto the small assembly and lock all the cams underneath. Then set it aside. Looking at the big table from the front, we will be working on the right side. Insert two dowels and screw in two steel pins into the desktop at the very right side of the table. Gather the small assembly. We will be joining these two assemblies as shown in step 5 in the right side mounting section. Connect the two assemblies by locking the two cams at the bottom of the side top panel. Feel free to double check all cams. While under the complete assembly, using two screws, fix the side panel to the overlapping foot. Pilot holes are provided for the screws. Please do not over tighten. Get the two wire hole covers and simply slot them into the big holes at the back of the desktop. Looking at the very left side of the assembly, we will be inserting four small plastic caps that is provided for the left side assembly to cover these holes. 
two of each size is provided. Should you have a different product than the working desk L shape, head to our channel to find the product you have purchased. Thank you for watching.